What's up, dudes? So we're going to do a setup video, me and my boy here. Um, I want to show you this thing first. You ever see this? Look. It's the Grind King tool. It's kind of interesting. So we got a threaded piece here. It's for popping your bearings in. You've got a Phillips driver. Focus. Um, I'm filming this, by the way, on the new Samsung Note 20 Ultra. The big daddy phone. Like the big daddy with all the storage because I'm a YouTuber and I only use a phone. Pretty much for everything. Um, anyhow, we got some Allen keys here. And this is obviously, not obviously, but it's a little tight. So I'm having to pry these Allen keys up. What's cool about it is is it doesn't come free of this housing here. It's just sort of bent around it. So it's kind of cool, right? Tighten your trucks, whatever. It's a little snug. But yeah, that's a nice tool. For the sake of this video, however, we won't use it because we'll use something a little more simple. But you know what? I think it's pretty awesome. I showed you... The, uh, what are they called? Uh, the slime ball wheels I bought, they were orange. They are 60s. Problem with that wheel is already, I have two. I have two. The slime ball, it's pretty much the same as this a soy wheel. Like, I think exactly. Now, I also have the mini combos or the com elite combo. And that is also the same wheel. So today I took those orange wheels back to the shop. I traded them in. The mini vomit was the one I've been wanting. And um, he had it. They had a two-tone color. Dude, it wasn't jiving with me at all. Um, I gotta look cool when I skate, you know. So I do the best with this that I can, you know. Like looking like a human Q-tip. Um... I couldn't ride those wheels, so I ended up getting a set of these for myself. Because these are pretty dope, right? They're 97. They're only 56, so I'm going down quite a bit in size. But honestly, I think I'm going to like it a lot. So let me show you what we got here. I'm using the front-facing camera, so this might be awkward. Oh, there he is! There he is. Killy. I'm pick your nose. Ah. So we got the trucks laid out. Now right here, he has the board that the homie Chance hooked us up with. The toy machine. And we were going to put the trucks that Chance also hooked us up with. Brand new Indy Hollows. Um, on on uh, Actually, we were going to put these Indies on his old deck. Let's see your old deck. Someone was asking recently, well, Killian rides. This is the board he rides. It's a dog town. It's called like the Young Cruiser, Young Ripper. I don't know, something like that. It's a shape deck. He likes it. I love it. He sort of wants to stay on a shape deck. And uh, we looked for something today at that massive shop with all those boards and didn't have any like junior sized decks. This is actually about a 7.75 in width, but it's shorter by a lot. I think this is like 28 inches, so it is a lot shorter. I don't know if you guys have noticed, though, when Killian rides, he has his back foot on the back, and he usually gets his front foot like above the trucks, like really wide. So, you know, his dad rides a bigger board at Brushy Creek when I'm going faster, and I thought, why not... Hook this popsicle up. Um, put those uh, the trucks I went and got him today. How can I ride Sparks and not get Sparks for the new grinder in the house? Because you know he's catching grinds now and he's targeting coping, so he needs to have Sparks too. And uh, we both have the same matching wheels. But anyhow, 
So he's going to take the bears off. I'm not really digging my bear trucks as much. I like everything about them except how they ride. <laughs> what is that? Um, you know, they just, they don't seem to turn as well for me. I, it's the oddest thing. I don't really understand because they feel loose. They just, I don't know. I think on the Gull Wing Mission 10, they're a little higher from the deck. Like they're a little, they hang down a little more low. And uh, I love the way those Gull Wings feel. And I love the way Indies feel. Indies do feel good, but I'm really, really, really going to want to make that change, I think, to Grind King. So I'm going to hope I love these trucks, and I hope that they hurry up and come up with a 9 or a 10-inch, right? Tell me, somebody tell me they have a 9 that I don't know about already. Uh, I just really, really, really want that. Um, so anyway, the deal is, He's going to take the bears off this board. These are like some super extra soft bushings, so we may have to use those on one of the trucks. He's going to end up putting the Indy hollows that Chance gave him on here with these same wheels. Then on the new deck he got from Chance, he's going to end up putting his Grind King Sparks on there. These are an 8-inch axle. And... Uh, yeah, he's going to rig his new wheels up on that because they're red and black wheels and it's a red board, right? Why not? So that's what we're going to do. Now, for me, it's been another story. Um, I ride a 10-inch truck. I ride an Indy 169. That's a 9.1-inch truck. I ride an A66. That's what, a nine and a half inch truck? So the truck I have from Grind King is 8.75. So I'm going down a lot. And I'm that guy that doesn't like to ride a more narrow setup as far as the truck and the wheels go compared to the deck. I like to have my wheels stick out just a little bit so I can spot them when I'm coming up on a stall or a 50-50 grind stand up. Uh, I just prefer that. So, a couple options, right? I could mount a big fat wheel on there like this one, which is like the slime balls. This is the Hasoi wheel. Super safe wheel. 97A, really wide contact patch. A lot of grip. I trust it a lot. It also can help add some width if I'm running a more narrow truck, and I am. Um, I don't love those wheels that much because they feel too wide. So if it's a trick I'm trying to learn and I'm looking for safety, I'm down with it. Um, but if it's just skating for fun and I wanted a wide wheel, I'd probably like this one better. This is the rain skate, the black rain. Um, I love this wheel. Absolutely love this wheel. This one's actually a 63. I have a deck right here with a 60 on it. That's just about a brand new wheel. I have not ridden that wheel very much at all. It's just been sitting up there. Um, other options I have are my OJ Team Rider wheels. Dig these wheels, also a 97. Um, I got a lot of options. I got a lot of angles I can go. But like I got the same set of wheels that Killian has. And I thought I might try this out. If the width of the setup doesn't bother me. Then I'm going to have to mount up something wider. And it might be that black rain. Wheels wheels falling everywhere over there. How do you like them? Let me see, let me see one of those. Ooh, nice. Do you like them? Yeah, I like the zombie. It's like got some traction. And there's a sticker. Oh, there's not a sticker. That's super nice. Handle. Super nice swirl, man. That's like... I'm going to do a knife with that color handle. Yeah. What kind of lumber am I going to put on all this gear? 
I don't know, man, because that whip thing is an issue. I got this one. This one. Still in the wrapper. Yeah. I'm not going to use that one, though. No, leave it alone. Keep keep working. I want to use Yellow Road before. I got this choice. I got this Elgato. This is soy. But you know what weirds me out about this? It feels narrow and long. It feels like I'm... I don't know, man. Something about this board has just... Has just sucked. I have this choice. It's an Everslick deck. Um... Same thing, dude. There's something about creature boards that have never felt good to me. <sighs> oh, yeah. This is another one. This would be kind of a good choice to ride out here. Have this one hanging on the wall. Already got some grip tape on it. Thrasher. What does it say? Live to skate, skate or die. See what that feels like. Yeah, I've always liked that one. I feel like I could do this. Remember, not loving it too though. I really, because I'm riding something new, right? I'm going back from a 10-inch truck now to an 8.75 truck. I need to feel good about what I'm on, because I don't need to get like thrown off into some fear corner and then not be able to review these trucks properly. Now we'll ride them. Well, Kelly, and you know what to do. You know what comes next. How many boards you set up? Put your bolts in. Gently put your truck on. Oh, Remember you gotta put your hand behind the back? And you gotta push the bolts up through there, and then you gotta finger tight the nuts on. This guy, how soon do they forget? My goodness. All right. So I got this birdhouse. I think it's a birdhouse. I think it's a birdhouse. It's a Ben Rayburn. I actually really like this deck. Definitely shorter. This is a strong contender for the new trucks right now. Um, I think that one is like an 8.75 in the width. Um, let me just stand on it and see. Super short, super short. Nah, that's a wall hanger right there. <laughs> I got my contraption. <laughs> this was uh, originally, it was a Jeff Grosso end game model um, with some super custom wheel wells, <laughs> cut out wheel wells. How about that? Okay, let's see. I forgot what was in the stack. Ooh, I forgot I had this one. How about that? So I'm pretty sure this is like nine inches wide. 8.75. Let's see. Right over the truck bed there. For most people, that would be like on the money fit, right? I think most people don't mind it being a quarter less on the axle than the board. Um, it's weird to me. I like it to be at least the same size. So, and this is a very kind of a square shape. It's got a round tail. I just don't know if I'm feeling that anti-hero right now. Plus I wanna back the blue, cause I'm one of those guys. Here in Austin, they actually did defund our police. What the heck are they thinking? All right, guys. This is my last option. Ooh, Alvas. I had a friend that bought some Alvas. 
This is that big one, dude. This is the one I'd put that 11 inch truck on. Let me just stand on this guy again and see what it feels like. That just feels stupid. It uh, Honestly, I feel like I'm on a skim board when I stand on that thing. And uh, look at the edges of these boards. It's not even rounded, like, I don't know. This one. Remember this project I was gonna paint? I did paint it. I was gonna do some custom paint job by hand on here. This board was an Alva originally. Then I traced the Jeff Grosso shovel shape. Like this board. Same shape. The reason I did that is because like this board, even though it's much narrow around 875 compared to 925, which I really prefer, I like this one because of the nose shape. And those first three boards I showed you feel narrow, feel rigid, stiff, long, even though they're not long because they feel narrow, like I hate it. It doesn't have the same cutout like the Grosso. So what I did was I took this old, big Alva piece of wood, flat edges, super wide, and I put the Grosso down on top and I traced it all out except the tail. Then I took the black label OG bars board and I put it down and I copied the tail on that board. So this is a cross between the Black Label OG bars because it has a wider tail. And this, the rest of it is the Grosso shape, which I love the best. So I'm going to go with this. Because this is one of those big Alva boards, it has a 16-inch wheelbase. And I'm just, I'm geeked up on that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yes. I got some really janky wheel wheels here. I don't need them. I'm going to ride smaller wheels, but... This is what I'm going to go with. I'm, I'm in. I decided. Looks good. That looks good. All right, so I got to do the same thing. Dude, my hardware's too long. I'm just not very prepared. I don't even think I have riser pads for this board. What a letdown. What a letdown. I'm going to be rocking some super old grip tape. Do I even have grip tape? Let me, let me climb up here and look. Look what I found. Oh, I found a lot of dust. Oddball skate shop. Hold on. All right, dudes, I'm back. I'm going to re-grip it. I found some grip tape. And while I was up there on the shelf looking at the grip tape, check out what I found. Found one of the old calendars from way back in the day. Iron Cross Kennels. These were the girls from Real Housewives of Orange County. Lou's daughter right here. This was the little girl in uh, the Poltergeist. Right? I think, uh, what'd she say? They're back. And uh, yeah, my wife is on the back here with me. Right there, and on one of the pages. You guys want to see one of the pages of this? It's my wife right there. You got it, dude. You want to heat up for me? Yeah. Or should I? I want to. All right. So start at the front. It's not on. You want it to be on hot and high. You got to get it real hot on the front. There's the proof, guys. Like, you didn't doubt me, right? You just didn't doubt me. I want to say an hour has gone by, and uh, I don't love setting up boards like I used to. My kid still needs my help. I can't wait until he gets a little bigger and he can do it all on his own. I like buying the gear. I like trying the gear. But I don't like putting it together. Yeah, nah. You want to see what I got, though? 
here we go. It's white. This is available for advertising. Toyota. You want your sticker here? I already got floor mats. I don't know. But anyway, I really like this disruptor truck. It looks good. Show you on the back what I did. I took the washer that comes off the top of like an Indy truck. Because Killian was putting on some um, hollow independence. I took the top washer. I flip it around backwards so that it bubbles up. And then I stick my bones bushing on top of it to raise it up a little more. I do that also with the Aces. Um, the finish looks much better than having a recessed receptacle. Right with your bones bushing sunk down in there, it looks a little funky. But when you pop it up with that washer, it just cleans up the look a lot. But also, it rides better too. So until you try it, you just don't know. Um, but I like it. Uh, the uh, trucks are fabricated really good from Grind King. Um, the nut that's in the base plate is totally fixed to the base plate. So thank God. I took the kingpin out to replace the bushing and then I was like, oh dude, I'm gonna have to take the base plates off because I didn't feel like I could get the kingpin set. I just wasn't pushing hard enough on it. So once I turn around and uh, I took one base plate off and I realized it was fixed, it was just a matter with their tool, the way they have a T-handle tool, you can rip. Dude, I almost lost a whole bunch of speed rings. Um, Anyway, yeah, you um, you can push it in there really nicely, and I, I like I like these trucks a lot. I think they're well made. I heard from Smoke and Joe today. We're probably about sixty days out from getting the new Grind King ten inch axles. So I know you guys waiting for tens. Um, they might be right around the corner. I don't care if they have spark trucks or not. But you know what? I'll have some fun with these. Let's see how this feels with the bones bushings. Wow. Wow. Got to really think. I'm going to dig that. I'll be riding a smaller wheel. It's a 5697. And I have Bronson Raws. Remember that video? Remember that video that has like 50,000 views? The spin test, people hated that video, dude. A lot of you guys might have found me from that original video. But anyhow, that's going to be it. Killian's bringing two setups tomorrow. And honestly, I think I'm only going to bring one. It's all I need, right? Because I'm going to like this thing. And uh, I want to clean up this mess tomorrow, dude. Look, my wife, she's got to come get on the computer. And she's got to work out some uh, some shipping labels. So when I get the shirts made or whatever, anything I get to ship out later on, that 3D printer right there is hopefully working on some parts I need to make for skateboarding. It's it's hush hush right now, but um, it'll be easy to ship it all out. All right, dudes, we'll see you on the next one later. I always want to look over there. I don't know why. That's the spot.